Hi, I'm Paul Hopkinson, and in this short demo video, I'm going to show you how I built up layers of paint and the detail on the top to create a very cute looking rabbit. Let's make a start. Now once we've got the drawing on the paper, we'll add masking fluid on the inside edge of that drawing. Then we'll wet the background and add the background colours in, trying to keep them nice and vibrant and fresh. Once there, we're going to start working on the eye and map out the eye first. Then we'll start thinking about the wet and wet washes within the eye. And then on top of that, we'll start adding those finer details, trying to really bring that eye to life. We'll be using blues, we'll be using browns, and even adding a touch of watercolour white to give that little bit of sparkle to the eye as well. Now once the eye is done, we're going to start working on the ears. Now the ears are quite transparent, so we've got to really think about the freshness of colours for this. So it's all going to be done through wet and wet techniques. I'm thinking about the layering as we go along through variations of brown and reds. And even a touch of a little bit of blue in places as well. Adding the foundations like this will give us the form and the shape which we need. Now once that's done, we'll add another layer of colour over the top to really create the shape and the form that we need underneath, ready to take the detail work we're going to add on next. Now the details are going to be done using the double zero brush. I'm going to be using a very dark colour in places. Also, we're going to vary the colour a little bit as well. But once that's done, we'll think about softening down, adding more detail to the face, thinking about the layering technique we're going to be doing, and also the brush directions are so, so important. We'll be working on a variety of techniques as well, which include stippling, and also ensuring that we don't have too much paint on the brush before we go to the painting itself. So then we go for our darkest darks, working around the nose, thinking about the back of the head as well and really studying that photograph to make sure we get it spot on. Now the flower itself, we're going to think about maintaining quite a lot of the white areas in there. We want to do that so the flower stands out against the background. We'll be adding in greens, quite lovely kind of bright coloured greens, yellows, greens, browns, reds, all sorts of colours in there, but on a very light wash technique as well. There's even pink in there as well. Once we've got those colours on the flower itself, then we've got to go even darker. And the dark colours, remember, will give us that extra shape, that extra form which we need to kind of create that feeling of depth within the flower itself. And we'll even add just a little hint, a little hint of blue to the edges of the petals at the same time. And once they're on, we'll soften everything down and then the final touch is going to be adding the watercolour white. Now you can use gouache as well, that's not a problem at all. It doesn't have to be watercolour white, you can even use white acrylic but I'll tell you something about that another day. So we're going to add the white over the top and this will give us all that extra dimension that we need, the shape that we need to finalise this little rabbit. Now the whiskers are going to be done with the lightest of touches, so we're going to make sure that there isn't too much paint on the brush before we do that. Now the full real-time video of this rabbit painting is now available on my online school, where I'll guide you step by step in over 3 hours and 45 minutes on how to paint this rabbit in watercolour where you can join my online community and learn with them from my many tutorials which you've already got on there ready and waiting for you to have a go at. Now if you fancy having a go at one of my watercolour lessons for free, I've got one on there just for you on how to paint a robin in watercolour. Now if you enjoyed this video, please click on subscribe down below. Click on become a patron and I'll see you there.